Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of something new. Welcome to Battlefield 5. Huge thank you to EA for letting me participate in this opportunity. We are hopping into this for the first time. And what I am focusing on in this gameplay is going to be a lot of the new fortification system added into this game. Now earlier you guys saw a ton of people parachuting in. That is the attacking side. They are coming from those planes and that is why I actually reinforced some of the sandbags by that anti-air gun to go ahead and hop into it and start shooting them down. Here you guys are seeing the massive extent to which fortification and even even to, to an extent this base building is possible. No worries though, throughout the video we are going to be showing the rest of the possible upgrades along with some dope clips and just in general how this operation went. So this game mode that we are hopping into is Grand Operations. Grand Operations is a game mode that actually spans multiple days. Currently we are in day one. That is the phase where all of these guys, they're parachuting in. And as they're parachuting in, they are trying to carry high explosives over to our artillery to destroy it. Then later you guys will see uh, day two which is going to be more of a traditional battlefield rush experience where you are trying to push through all these objectives. But given the fortifications, I seriously think it's almost just an entirely new amount of fun. And I was having an absolute blast with it. And the class that we're playing as is going to go ahead and pop up on screen now to give you guys a little bit more detail. But what it does come along with is the ability for ammo pouches, anti-tank mines, which I wasn't having too much luck with, unfortunately. But it gives us an extra option when it comes to fortification. And that is the ability to put down machine guns. Here you guys are seeing me actually building up some sandbags as our last objective is destroyed. And day one comes to an end and we enter into day two. There you guys saw an overview of the base that we're actually going to be fortifying a little bit uh, in the future. There you guys saw me fortify the bridge a little bit and you guys these things are going to be very useful because on the other side of the map there is just kind of a lot of open area and you can get shot at from that side and that's where all these fortifications i mean i think they're pretty self-explanatory they protect you except from the roof that's where some bombs do come in uh bombers are something you need to watch out for they're horrifying screams but when everything is set up things like this can happen and again this is only happening because of the class that we put up and that is where these great opportunities come up we're even going to be able to fortify a lot more up that as you guys are going to be seeing. If you guys look in the lower left-hand corner, when you guys see those kind of like just faint kind of like white dots over in the minimap, that is actually possible fortifications that you can do. And again, this class that I do have here, you guys can see a bit more of a, a finished version of it. You guys can see it's looking very pretty, very beautiful. Mini guns on both of those slots, left and right. And then we're even going to be moving up here. And the enemy is going to be coming from uh, over there where we were just looking up ahead. But given how far ahead we can really build these fortifications up a lot if you guys look at this mini map you guys can see we kind of we can still go a lot with these fortifications so throughout the rest of the video you guys will be seeing again more fortifications being put up more dope clips even in a variety of situations because a little bit later on you guys are going to actually see a house just being absolutely destroyed not just by explosives but freaking tanks running through it but the thing with that is houses after they do start getting destroyed you can actually kind of refortify them and make them uh, kind of usable again like they're not you're not gonna repair a house you're not a freaking carpenter out here right but you are gonna be able to bring it into a bit more of a defensive stance using things like sandbags boarding up windows and like here this is our base i'm actually going ahead and fortifying the back because a couple of times we were pushed back a little bit and we had to kind of push our way back up here i just had a nasty turn on this guy he had to jump on me he started shooting too early or he just he didn't have the shot he got to poo poo okay that's what he got that we just kind of continue wreck you a little bit havoc here for but there are three stages to this day two currently we are fending off day or not day one we're fending off the first stage and there are two objectives i kind of focused around i kind of focused around b for the most part i didn't really go to a in this stage but i do believe it's a bit more in the hills a bit more open and i i don't know man i just as soon as i found out how heavily we could fortify that objective i'm like this is going to become my new home and even we started fortifying it so hard we were able to push up a lot through it and even kind of stop them from even getting into the objective in the first place place but ultimately they do end up pushing through and we do need to get over to stage two of this map and ultimately stage three where again you guys are going to be seeing more fortifications going on i love the house fortifications because it does give them just the ability to be usable again here you guys are seeing us again like i said those possible things we're pushing up a ton there really adding the fortifications we even could still do more if you look at the mini map i decided it was time for us to go against some kills and that's exactly what happened over there and oh we got to get that guy with the knife and then turn on that dude and get him and i just love the gunplay in this game as well it, personally it is a huge improvement over battlefield one if you guys did play it a lot of the guns we're using an lmg during this clip and as you guys are about to see here 
<laughs> it can do some work. And we also have Molotovs equipped. That is uh, the grenades that we are throwing. And the grenades that are doing a ton of damage. These dudes here kind of doing like a pretty epic last stand before we ultimately do have to... Oh, spoiler, I guess, retreat. But uh, here you guys can see we also have medical supplies that you can pick up. You also have uh, ammo supplies. You can actually go uh, to people that you kill and you can pick up ammo off of them as well. Because you don't have massive amounts of ammo to start with, which is something that I noticed. But you can use that ammo a lot more usefully because I, I tended to use for the most part the LMG but this LMG really had some accuracy I was even getting into some long distance battles and you know if you do single tap and you're aiming around like I was using a mouse you can really get some great accuracy but here comes the part where we must retreat and get the hell out of dodge because dodge is coming to us and dodge is not happy again the last couple of sprays in there before we do fall back to kind of the other end of this bridge already by the time we get there you guys are seeing that they're beginning the fortification process and we are going to continue but on the right side of the bridge you guys can see that we can actually put up those barriers and this is exactly what i was talking about the enemies on that hill can do a number on you if you do not fortify properly but over here we're going to slowly as soon as we can start those fortifications and then it becomes hard for them to see us but we can kind of peek out from this corner we can rain down hell upon them over on that side of the map and i actually ended up doing a good amount of damage in this uh way as well on the other side of the map on the other objective objective a that is going to be a lot more house oriented like i said it'll be heading on over there in just a bit but this area i don't know man this is where i freaking arrived but again, I really do love the gunplay. I think that that is a huge improvement. And it really does have me excited for this, along with the announcement, if you guys didn't hear, that Battle Royale is going to be coming to Battlefield after launch. And that is something I am exhilarated. That's something I've been just clamoring for for a while. And the fact that it's been confirmed that it's going to be coming, I cannot wait to see what Battlefield does end up doing, what their kind of, like, thought and their kind of take on the Battlefield genre is. Because given the Frostbite engine, all this destruction you guys are seeing here, and even the first taste of fortification, the day one when there were enemies parachuting in that's the whole parachute mechanic it's definitely gonna be interesting but look at that destruction that's a tank driving straight through a house like dude are you kidding me not only are high explosives a problem you gotta worry about those things as well we also gotta worry about these guys running to your house and uh teaching them a lesson with a little bit of a knife in the back no worry random dude in the hallway i got you covered but again this kind of area is a lot more just it's a lot more hectic because it's very kind of close quarters and it's a, kind of guerrilla warfare because you're jumping around all these houses and just holes in the randomest of places but then we come to here and here is where i do manage to sneak myself i don't think it's a kill it is an assist but i do think assist kind of kill if you do do enough damage this however is where we do fall and the next retreat does begin to the final sector and this is where I found a pretty awesome meat grinder. So I'm heading over to objective B, I believe this is, but I actually spent a lot of my time in this phase over in objective A. Here you guys are seeing some more fortifications. You guys can see the windows. Some of those tank traps slash tank spikes actually impede the progress of vehicles throughout certain sections of the map. And I just love this mechanic because it just lets you, it makes the maps much more dynamic, especially because I'm pretty sure these can be destroyed and also repaired. And I don't know, it just really does give it a battlefield type of field because it's a battlefield that's not not just constantly being destroyed but it's constantly being built up in this sense as well here we're starting to actually fall back a little bit the house that we just repaired has taken some damage but luckily for us i decided to go off and do a number on the dudes are trying to well take away my life and my friends lives but ultimately we are gonna have to get the hell out of here because things are getting a bit rough but again that hill over there was actually a pretty hot spot as you guys are gonna see but we got some sandbags going on in the house and then we run over to a and this little bunker where oh the class that we got really comes in handy we can get a double machine gun setup and it is looking straight at b let me just say the things that you guys are about to see is absolutely nutty. but if you guys have any questions at all about battlefield what i got to play i'll be more than happy to answer them to the best that i can make sure you leave a comment down below asking me any questions you do have i'm gonna try to answer as much as i can if you guys are excited for battlefield definitely let me know as well by hitting that like button and uh maybe in your comment as well but just make sure that you guys are subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay tuned for hopefully more battlefield content coming your way i don't know how much more battlefield we'll be able to get out given just the amount of footage that we got but battlefield as soon as it does come we are going to be playing the bejesus out of it especially 
with that battle royale genre in the works as well so i'm excited hope you guys are excited as well but let's go ahead and wrap it up for me for now i'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of this ride out so you guys can see the rest of this but if i was ever like clear or unclear about anything like i said please ask away sometimes i can't be unclear about things and i really do want to spread the awesomeness that is battlefield 5 over here but that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching so nothing but the most angry to day in the world and enjoy the bejesus out of the rest of this video peace The British thought that they were worthy opponents. That mistake has cost them dearly. With our lines intact, our forces can safely move into a more strategic location in the mountains. We will prevail.